Hello and welcome back for another episode of Ask Starbase. I'm Athena and today we'll be investigating the written word. Grinch from South School wants to know, who made the alphabet? That's a great question. Where should we begin? We use the term alphabet to discuss the writing of symbols for sounds, specific sounds or graphemes. The term comes from the first two symbols of the alphabet, alp, an ox head, and bet, a house or as they became known better in their Greek forms, alpha and beta. The shift from pictograms and hieroglyphics, symbols for whole words, to syllable sounds happened around 2000 BCE throughout the Middle East, Northern Africa, and Asia Minor. The common person was not trained in writing the 30,000 hieroglyphics that represented specific words. That work was done by elite scribes. So the merchants, workers, and slaves began to use a concentrated group of 22 symbols to represent the consonant sounds of all words. Thus began phonetic writing and the Proto-Semitic Phoenician alphabet was born. With trade through the Mediterranean being steady, Greeks adapted the symbols to the similar symbols they had for related words and added in vowels. Trade continued as well as war and conquest prompting adoption of the alphabet to each land. The Etruscans, then the Romans, converted the symbols from Greek to Latin, something that looks extremely familiar. It's amazing to consider how long we expressed ourselves by drawing before we started writing. In only 4,000 years, we went from pictures for whole words to letters, and now we're back to pictures with emojis. If this has grabbed your attention, topics to check out include etymology, the study of word origins, or lexicology, the study of words in general. Thanks for joining me, Athena, on today's episode of Ask Starbase. If you have any other questions for us, drop us a line at ask at starbase-ct.com or visit our website at www.starbase-ct.com. See you soon.